Would you like to see some uh, liquid gun powder tomorrow? We can go back with some really fun ombre nails for is coming spring. If you want to see Valentine, we can also do some Valentine and spring nails. I'm excited. All right, so if you are first time working with our condensed glue gels, it might be feeling really thick for you, which is normal. Just blend them out nicely. No wipe top coat. If you are don't if you are doing a matte top coat, what you need to do is just apply the matte top coat on the top instead of no wipe top coat. So you can use either one. You want to choose the matte look or the shiny look. It's really it's up to you. I'm putting a shiny look and I have right here in front of me. You probably can't see it, but I try to move it over here. You can see it. I have my little cute frame. And I will show you a little bit um, later that how I'm doing it this. I'm bending it. This is for you, for me, Valentine's Day. It's coming next week. What day is that, Valentine? 14th. The, I know, but uh, Wednesday? Yeah. Like Wednesday next week? And... If you are like, don't want to do anything with red, you can use this AB to apply right here. It looks so cute though. It looks so simple, but it's super cute. And don't worry, I'm gonna bend that after that week here. Should we add something else? Infinity, I'm not like, I promise if you're doing it like the same, it's gonna turn out exactly the same what I did though. I promise. Let me put some smaller B, uh, smaller AB. It looks really cute though. If you have the frame, which is this one I'm using from the collection, is really freaking cute. This is the um, Supreme's um, rose gold frame. It has all the heart, and then it has lips. It's like you can't never go wrong with this. You can pretty much do everything with that. And I will show you how is you can bend the frame and everything else. That's it. I'm gonna pop in the lamb for about 60 seconds. Looks so cute. This one I was thinking if you're doing a matte top coat, it looks good as well. And here's a, some cool tip and trick. I have a super cute right here. Uh, I would like to share if you are doing it, some of uh, the nails with a lot of frame, which is I also do it too. I get that some of them are bands already, but if you are need this one to band it to fit with the apex of the nails, or if you are like have a clients have a really nice high C curve, you're gonna using it to just band it. Put them in and press. Look at that. 
is cure uh, is curl really nicely for you. And it depends if you want to do like if you want to curl more or if you want to curl less. So it fit right on the C curve of the nails. And also work with any frame like this frame right there. And there's two sizes, I think, on the set, like a smaller size and the bigger size. All you need to do is super quick and fast. It doesn't take like much time. Just press it down and release that. And you get the frame. You can see that. I don't know how you can see it from here, but my aunt can see it from here. Here, let me, let me move it like that. It looks so... It's so handy though. Oop. And it plays on the nails without, here, let me place on my nails so you can see it. Like I have really nice like um, C curve and apex right there. And then you can see that Lily is stay on, stay really nice and curve the size of my nails. So. This cute one is called what is a frame bender. Frame bender. So, if you want to get that, so yeah, it's like three different options. is really cute, and it's super easy. I have this one right here coming out. I am going to using uh, precision glue. So excited to see everyone today. Was, we did a lot. We did like three cute nails. I'm going to using my needle size. They are doer and I am going to use this and and I'm gonna fill in completely into the frame. And this frame you don't have to worry about if it's going on the top of the frame because it doesn't take away from the size of the frame at all so you feel free if you accidentally get uh, on the top of it i would not doing it with the crystal because then that way crystal gonna it's gonna destroy this shine the cut and the sparkle of it i would do it on the base of the crystals surround that and around all the frame this frame right here is so cute and but bland is really nice and I bend them all of them like earlier, so then that's a fit in. Surround the crystal. If I feel like an extra glue, I am going to using my twin tip brush line again, like earlier I will share with you, and I am going to blend them nicely. Just blend them. So then after you cure, it doesn't look lumpy. But if you feel like you have so many of excess here because we have so many frames, you are can completely, totally, if you want, you can coat one coat of a top coat. If necessary, I would do not top, top it on the top of the crystals, but I would do it surround with the frame. Even like some of them that you want to blend it completely, but I would not do it on the top of the crystal, just the frame to keep them blended nicely. I think I like that a lot. That is so simple. So here, you can use this base as a pink. I think it looks great with the hot pink, light pink, or you can do with red. It looks great. It looks so nice and simple, but great. So pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. Hey, Brad, how are you? Monkey too hot. Uh, do you mean this one, sweetie? This one is the Frames Bender. So they have three different options for you to choose different colors, like which is each um, collection come with two of them. 
like a two bender so it's really it's really handy I like it a lot so I am going to pop this red cap back in because we don't want to accidentally spill it and I'm gonna open this so you can see the brush okay so if you need to do a small uh, crystal SS3, SS4, halo around the cuticles, you can use this size to apply them in. I do that a lot too sometimes when I finish with the client, they say, oh, I want extra one or two. Instead of using condensed glue gel, you can just using um, your precision glue and it stay really nice. Thank you, mom. Hey Brad, you was there? Hey, nails by Dora. How are you? Looks gorgeous. Great. <laughs>